Ho, ya ho, ya ho, ya ho, ya ho, ya ho, and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, we're going to talk about prediction. Sorry that my accent's a little British right now. I was um, doing a British accent before this video, so we're just going to have to live with it today. But I want to talk about prediction because I think that a lot of us can actually predict the future. Not the future, although to some degree we can predict the future if we get interested in what the world's doing, but more so predict our own futures. Now, when it comes to the future, usually the outcomes are dependent upon the actions. If you take negative actions, self-destructive actions, then you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna lead to a self-destructive negative future. But on the flip side, if you take some positive actions, it's not 100%. Equal opportunity does not mean equal outcome. It's not 100% that you're going to have a positive future, but the probability of having that positive future is heightened. And I think this is something we have to be serious about because when we make mistakes, and I've made so, so, so many over here in quarantine, when we make mistakes, we tend to get trapped in our negative futures because mistakes just have a way of stacking up until you have no motivation, no energy to do anything else with your day. And I know this because for my whole life, I've made the same couple of mistakes that have realistically always caused the same day in my life. Like always, always, always. I'll always binge eat. It'll always lead me to masturbating. And then it'll always lead me to this crap, this crap, this this crap feeling where I'll just be like, oh, I'm just gonna stay here for the rest of the day and I'm never gonna I'm not gonna do anything else. But no, it's 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 so strong, it's impossible for me to ever break out of this of this cycle of thought. And I think a lot of people get stuck in the cycle of their thinking. And this is what I want to talk about today, because you know, we have to be able to predict the future a little more in hindsight, you know, I think that since we've made the same mistakes so many times, we know what the hindsight is already. And it's just going to play out again, because I never felt happy. Whenever I make these bad habits, when I make these mistakes, I never feel happy because I'm always feeling like I should have learned from it the last time, but I still do it because we're emotional creatures and my emotions crave the assurance of being able to predict the future. But I don't think that predicting the future in this in this state of mind is necessarily useful for creating it. And this is what I want to talk about. Creating the future is a much more realistic way to predict the future because when you create it, you make it and you can control what that future is going to be. You can control your actions. You can do more positive things. You can live a more positive life. And something that we really need to get under control here in quarantine is how to live more positively because when this is over, the world's going to be a new place. It's not going to be exactly the same. And I think that we need to become new people. We need to become new. We need to change. We need to become better before that happens. Because a lot of what quarantine is for, for me is killing time. Or what it has been for me is killing time. And I hate it because I hate, I hate, I hate killing time. It's such a waste of opportunity and potential. But that's because killing time is my predictive measure. All these mistakes, all these bad habits that I've ever done, they've always led to me killing time. And whenever I engage in them and they spiral, the result is always the same thing. It's always killing time. But I think it would be nice if instead of deciding that you wanted to predict killing time, decide to predict happiness and use that as a foreground, use that as a forebearer for your day. Be like, you know, today I want to be happy. I want to do the things that I'm that are predictably going to make me happy. And then keep on track with that. And look, I don't think stimulation and happiness is not the same thing. Feel like, feeling like you're doing something and not accomplishing anything, not progressing in any way, it's not the same thing as being happy. And I don't know what being happy to you is, but I know what it is for me. And I have to be productive to be happy. So that's the last thought I want to leave with you with today. It's just... um. Ask yourself, what do you want to predict? Your happiness or your unhappiness or your, your ambivalence, whatever that nonsense is. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to smash this like button. 
Uh, leave a comment. Love responding to those. Need to get better with that. Uh, even with the bots, I should respond more wholeheartedly to the bots. Um, subscribe to the channel. I really want to get to 10,000 sometime in my life. Yeah. <laughs> and most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word. A positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.